uh, with Clear Sky we uh, modified a lot uh, the graphical part of the game. So uh, first of all, we have heavily upgraded the DirectX 9 rendering uh, uh, engine. Uh, we pretty much changed the lighting system, uh, changed all the textures, uh, models uh, have been heavily updated. Um, uh, a lot of work has been dedicated to just uh, the detailing of the world and we are really keen on bringing as much detail to this environment as possible, make it very authentic and realistic. <clears throat> uh, and secondly, we added uh, uh, a totally new graphical module to the engine uh, which is uh, fully DirectX 10 optimized. Um, well, in fact, DirectX 10 is still uh, just entering games as they are, because uh, it still costs a lot to process uh, all these effects. So uh, when actually choosing what to do in DirectX 10, we were primarily uh, thinking about the atmosphere of the game, because this is one big part of Stalker. And secondly, the realism of uh, uh, of this environment, of the world. Uh, so ultimately we went uh, to create a number of those effects which uh, help um, uh, the player to see this world as more realistic and uh, more atmospheric. So first of all, uh, in indoor environments you will see um, volumetric fog, which is physically correct, fully physically correct uh, fog that is uh, actually interacting with all those objects on its way. So either characters or uh, items uh, like boxes and crates. So you will see uh, this fog enveloping um, all these uh, interactive uh, items. And uh, secondly, uh, we have this sophisticated uh, lighting technique, um, which is uh, called volumetric light and uh, also sun shafts, uh, otherwise called god rays. So uh, when the sun uh, goes real bright, uh, you will see uh, like uh, real volumetric kind of nice uh, and realistic shafts of the sun uh, going through objects and uh, casting those realistic uh, shadows uh, all processed in real time uh, looks very impressive and realistic back again. Um, and ultimately there is uh, this nice um, rain effect uh, which also interacts with, uh, with the surface, uh, with the ground this water goes on. So uh, when the rain starts, uh, you can see that the ground, uh, as it receives more and more water, uh, becomes wet. So the surface changes it, its attributes and the way it looks. Uh, you will see it uh, start like glistening and uh, uh, as more rain touches the ground, you, you can see little uh, splashes of water, little puddles showing up um, and back again uh, this looks very impressive um, and at the same time as, uh, as heavy rain starts uh, water will s start streaming down uh, vertical surfaces um, so all, all of these effects just add to even uh, more like realism and immersion for the player uh, so these are basically the effects that the players can see on um, uh, well, top-notch hardware really cutting-edge technologies um, behind all this. Uh, the interesting thing about uh, hardware requirements for Stalker is that um, uh, we are still supporting the older uh, age graphical cards, I mean uh, even the DirectX 8 generation graphics cards, uh, so as uh, DirectX 9 and the latest DirectX 10 video cards. Uh, which effectively means that uh, the players with uh, lower end systems uh, can still play the game, although they won't be able to see that kind of eye candy that the latest uh, uh, technology provides. But uh, all in all, uh, the key thing is gameplay. So uh, uh, the, the computers that were running uh, Clear Sky, um, uh, that were running, sorry, uh, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, they will be pretty much potent to run Clear Sky as well. And uh, those players who have uh, really high-end systems, uh, they just uh, can see more eye candy and uh, that's the only difference. <laughs>